Police in Portland, Oregon, arrest more than a dozen people. Protesters opposing President Trump trashed, uh, clashed, I should say, with those supporting him. Joining us now is Chris Cox. He's with the Bikers for Trump group. Chris, now I know that you were at the protest. I am told that the anti Trump people vastly outnumbered the pro Trump people. Is that accurate? You couldn't be more right, Stuart. This is one of the most liberal cities in the country. To give you an idea, they've got a statue of Stalin here. Stalin exemplifies uh, socialism. Socialism is the Venus flytrap for any democracy. Were you there to protect the pro-Trump people? and Were they in need of protection? Well, no, sir, and, but only because the feds were there. Homeland Security showed up, and they were in force, and they, could, they exemplified uh, law enforcement yesterday. They couldn't be more proud of the law enforcement community. Um, they seized bricks that were broken in half that people were throwing into the crowd, bottles. They had fireworks, slingshots, pepper spray, and big knives and machetes. Um, we're really grateful they were there. We would have had been outnumbered, the bikers. Because, wait, wait a um, second, Chris. Hold on a second. Are you telling me that you saw anti-Trump demonstrators with knives uh, and, and other, literally, weapons that they, could have, that they wanted to use in combat against you guys? Yes, sir. Homeland Security actually had them all on display. They uh, were collecting them for evidence, for, I guess, for some of the court hearings today. And in there, there were long knives, fireworks, like Roman candles they were going to shoot into the crowd. They had slingshots where they want to... Stuart, if you get hit in the, in the kneecap or the elbow with a ball barrier, that will shatter it, and uh, it'll be a pretty bad day. Now, so did, you go with, I mean, did, did you go loaded for bear yourselves? I mean, look, uh, it, biker guys, have a, they're, they're tough guys, and sometimes they go around in a violent situation. Were you there with weapons ready to defend the uh, pro-Trump people? Well, Stuart, the first weapon of a biker or any patriot is courage. So uh, we're loaded with courage. We're locked, and we've got the six of each other. And uh, we're there as a, as a defense force here. We're, we're on the defensive. We're not on the offensive. And uh, we want to see that these Trump supporters are there, and that they can, they can assemble peacefully, and they can express their, you know, their, their feelings for Donald Trump. Donald Trump is delivering on all his promises, and we, too, have to deliver on supporting him. Give me a rough idea of the numbers, would you? How many people opposed Trump and they were demonstrating? How many people supported Trump? Well, if we had, say, 2,000 people there supporting them, there were probably 3,500 to 4,000 that were against Trump. And so we, on one side of the street, you had union workers that were protesting. On the other side of the street, you had the Antifa, the guys with the ski masks and the, you know, the, the, the guys that are there for chaos and mayhem. And then on the other side of the street, you had the LBG um, T, and they were, uh, they were all protesting. We were surrounded, and uh, we were probably outnumbered at least 10 to 15 to 1. But the bikers are used to being outnumbered, and we had a lot of uh, resources there with us. For instance, Oath Keepers, along with a lot of other groups, were there, and um, we, were, we, we, we were doing pretty good. We noticed that a lot of the, um, the protesters had infiltrated into the group and around the crowd, but when they take a look at the guys that we've got standing there um, on guard, ready to act and spring into action, they, uh, they certainly weren't um, going to stand up to our guys. It sounds they like they never the, do. Well, it just sounds like the battle lines are drawn out there on the West Coast. Chris Cox, thanks for joining us. Sir. Keep us informed about the battle as it progresses. I'd like to hear it. Yes, thanks, sir. Chris. Yes, sir.